Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play Your Love as recorded by the Outfield on guitar. Now this song combines some awesome rock guitar techniques like playing power chords with palm muting and arpeggio picking. There's three main sections we're going to cover, the intro, the chorus, and then the bridge slash interlude part. If you have those three sections, you'll be able to go through the entire song. I'm going to break it all down for you note for note, but before we jump in, I want to hook you up with a gift right away. If you haven't downloaded my fretboard guide, yet, you've got to grab this at the first link down below. And this is going to show you the five chords and scales that I use to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And it's a system that I use whether I'm playing a song like this where I'm moving around some power chords or some open chords or I'm taking a solo. It's really just a framework and a way of thinking about the guitar neck that's really going to help you out. want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below to grab your copy. All right, well, with that said, let's dive into this song. Let's break down how to play Your Love as recorded by the Outfield on guitar. Now, we're going to start off with this first section, which uses three power chords and some cool rock rhythms with palm muting. Here's what it sounds like one, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, so we're using three chords here. An E5, which is played up here at the seventh fret. I'm gonna put my index finger on the fifth string, seventh fret, and then I'm gonna play nine and nine, which is a three note power chord here, like this. Now, you could play these as two notes. If you are familiar with playing your two note power chord and that's easier, you could do that as well. I'm going to go for the three on this one. So that's an E power chord. And wherever we put our index finger, that's going to be the note that names the chord. That's called the root note. So we're going to start on E. Then we're going to drop that down to the fourth fret and play a C sharp five or C sharp power chord. And then we're going to drop it two more frets down to the second fret. And that's going to give us a B power chord or a B5. Now, each one of these chords in the first two bars lasts one bar. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then when we get to B, we're going to stay there twice as long. That's going to last two bars. One, two, three, four, two, two. Then restart. It's going to go E, C sharp. Okay? It's a four bar chord progression. Now for this song and this style, we're going to be playing what's called an eighth note groove. So we're going to be thinking like this. This is an eighth note pattern. I'm going to play all downs and we're taking each beat, one, two, three, four, and we're splitting it into two parts. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Now, I'm also using a technique here with my strum hand called palm muting. This is something I talk a lot about in my essential rock guitar system, but the idea is that you want to bring your this part of your palm here down on the strings, and it has to come into contact here with the string where it comes together on the saddle piece here. You don't want this sound, like where you're off, you want to get it nice and muted. But if you're too far forward, it's not going to work either. So you got to find that spot and then keep it down. So that's going to go with the pattern. Now we are going to lift it up on this song. We're going to have these really cool accents. And this is what gives it a great rock sound. Okay, and this is what's so important when you play this song because this pattern and this feel sort of carries through the other sections as well. So the idea is that we have a two bar pattern and I'll break it down bar by bar. The first bar is gonna go 
Okay, so what I did was I played my eighth notes with palm muting. One and two and three and four and. But on the first beat, one and two, and then the and of two, and then beat four. So one and two and three and four and. Okay, I lifted off on beats one, the and of two, and four. And that, if I just repeat that bar. Super, super common rock rhythm, okay? So that's half of it. That's the first bar, okay? So stay with me here. In the second bar, and I'll just stay on this chord, we're gonna go one and two and three and four and. So it's the same thing. We'll keep that palm muting going, but we're gonna lift it off on the and of one and then beats three and four. So one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. So those are those accents, okay? So if I put that together, I'm just gonna stay on this first chord. It's gonna sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So I played it twice there. But if you can get those accents, then that's really gonna help you get the groove for this song. So watch what happens now when I put that together with the chord progression. Okay, so see how that works? So that's the right groove, the palm muting, the accents, and then putting it together with the chord progression. Okay, so that's gonna go twice. So I'll play it one more time. Try and play along. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Now we go on to the next section. That's the chorus. It's going to go like this. One, two, and three, and four, and. All right. So we're going to continue that same strumming pattern through this until the last bar, and I'll explain that when we get there. But first, let's talk about the chords. So for this section, we're going to bring in this new chord. This is an A5. And it's a power chord, just like these other chords, but we're doing it on an open string. So here I'm playing open A, then the second fret, and the second fret, just using my index there. Okay, then we're going to go up to C sharp on the fourth fret, and then down to B for two bars. So it's kind of like the, the first section, but instead of E, we're going to play A. So it's going to go. Then we come up to C sharp, down to A, B. Okay, now there's this little rhythm change. The band comes in, bah, bah, and they hit these hits. We're on that B chord. We go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So three and four. We're changing from that B back up to E on the and of three. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Okay, so the last four bars of that section. back to the top verse and then there's these big chords that come in So there's, that's like a secondary guitar part that basically plays A, C sharp to B, but kind of strums them like this. With open strings in there. And then you can kind of break up the strings like that. That's a great sound. So after chorus two, go. Go to the 
this instrumental section or the bridge section here. Now this changes keys. This is a really interesting twist in this song. We're, we're normally in the key of E so far for this song, but all of a sudden we go, we play a G to an A. So it's like G isn't usually in the key of E. So we got a, a cool change there. So here, I'm gonna play a G. I just like this open G, it sounds great. So it's like your typical G, but I don't play the index finger. Looks like that. Then I go to A with one finger. Now here I'm just gonna play that just tried and true, most classic strumming pattern of all time. One and two and three and four and the old down, down, up, up, down, up, A. This goes four times. Okay, we're halfway there. Here's the third time. Then the fourth time. And then... Back to the verse. Chorus. All right, now we go to the ending progression. And I'll show you the easy way would just be C sharp, A to B. Those same power chords we're just gonna play. Or you could go. And I like these chords, they're very sort of like police sounding to me. The band police. Here we go. Four, two, four. That's C sharp minor seven. And then I keep those open strings in there. Then take this finger off. You get an A sus two, and then go to that B power chord, but with open strings. So it's a B sus four. And then you can combine this with that same strumming pattern that we used in the instrumental or bridge. And the song just fades out on this. Congrats on making it through this lesson on how to play your love as recorded by the outfield on guitar. Make sure to give yourself some time with all those techniques like the palm muting and then lifting up and being able to combine that with the power chords and the different sections. There's a lot in there, but there's so much that we can learn about playing rock guitar and playing in a band by studying songs like this. So keep going, you got this. And to help you even more, I wanna hook you up with my fretboard guide. You can get it at the first link down below or just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide to download your copy. And this is going to show you the five chords and scales that I use to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And you can get it completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide to grab your copy. Also, before you go, let me know down below in a comment what song you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Just comment your number one song down below. Thanks for your support with the videos, and we'll see you in another one real soon.